I'm Raymond Fulham for Campus Television Network. I'm here outside the Arts Block getting UCD students' views on the presidential election. Will you be voting tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I will. And um, who will you be voting for? I'll be voting for Sean Gallagher. Okay. Did you watch the frontline debate on Monday night? Uh, no, unfortunately I missed it, but I read a lot of the articles on it and uh, got a couple of other people's opinions on it as well. Okay. Do you think Sean Gallagher's credibility has been damaged largely? By the allegations, I think it has been, but I think you have to look at the people who are making the allegations, like the ex IRA members and the people okay. whose funding comes from questionable sources, such as the Northern Bank Raid. So I think if people like that are making these allegations, I don't think you can really take them seriously. Okay, so it's it's anyway. and uh, so it's a busy week, we have the presidential election coming up. Yeah. Are, will you be voting? I'm not because my constituency is in Galway and okay. I'm going home, but I'm not going home till Friday. Okay. Although I probably would have given it to Michael D, to be honest. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, he seems to be doing well. Yeah, he seems to be, I think. It seems like Sean Gallagher kind of shot himself in the foot on Monday night, so oh, well, oh, I'd be hoping he won't get it. And um, so have you heard much about the student protests coming up in November? I've heard bits and bobs, but I'm not too clued in it this year. It's to do with kind of fees and stuff again, I think. Yeah, and how do you, what do you think of the condition of fees at the moment? Uh, at the moment, I think they're pretty good compared to a lot of universities, especially compared to America, in that we've got a pretty good system for education. I mean, the whole, the whole question is pretty interesting as to whether or not the state owes us, as students, if the state owes us a third-level education free of charge. It's definitely an interesting question, but I, I guess I'll go out and protest at the same time. Do you think it would have, because the two of you are from England, in, co in college in England, the fees are a lot higher, do you think that would have, if you were coming to college here and the fees are cheaper here, do you think if they go up more, it would encourage you to go to college somewhere else? Well, not somewhere else, but would it kind of put a different perspective on coming to co college in Ireland? Well, if it cost about the same, then I'd probably like consider going abroad more than just staying here. So what about you? Um, it would depend on other things I think rather than just fees there's a loan system in England so the fees don't it's not quite the same it's not like a direct comparison between here and uh, here in the UK because there is a loan system in place whereas there isn't here which I think there should be I think possibly there should be fees here because the cost of education is a bit it's, it's very very cheap compared to the rest of Europe in terms of like or in terms certainly in terms of the UK but there's no loan system so it's a bit harsh asking people to pay five grand a year uh, for the same college system they were paying one and a half grand for two years ago. Will you be voting tomorrow? Um, I haven't actually decided. Um, if I'm, if I'm passing the phone station, I might pop in give my vote. Okay, fair enough. And uh, if you do, um, you are passing the polling station, who would you envisage voting for? Um, well, I ran into Norris today in the Irish block and uh, had a chat with him, so that's the most I've seen of any of the other candidates, so maybe I'll just vote for him. If you were voting, do you have any idea who you would be voting for? Sean Gallagher? Okay, and do you think it's very important to vote as a student? Um, yeah, I think so, because, you know, if you can, you should. Right, okay. Ryan, how, you, how did you cope with the floods this week? Uh, it was all right. I was lucky that I was able to get a lift home, so it was handy that way. Okay, that's grand. Where do you live? I live in Slorgan, so I'm from Slorgan. So it wasn't that bad there then, no? Uh, no, because Slorgan's pretty high up of an area, so the floods ran off the area. I think Black Rock was pretty bad. The floods, were you affected in any way by that? Nah, I was in the library all day. Um, <laughs> I actually wouldn't have known anything happened except for uh, seeing Facebook afterwards. So I uh, didn't get affected at all, but um, I have a few friends who live in Dundrum who got pretty badly done over by it. Why would you vote for David Norris? What do you think he can bring to the office of president? I think he, out of all the candidates, has come before with all the revelations in the press after throwing at him. I think the likes of the media are to TV3 have been so good to him, Vince McBride, Ray McCann, and you name it. That's my opinion. I think all the revelations about him, at least we know, but the last politicians who were just in, there's half the revelations haven't come out about them. What do we not know about David Norris? Because they've dug and dug and dug. I think the people of Ireland do want a gay president. I think he's a very hard to choose president. Okay, great. And um, how about the office of, pres of the president itself? Do you think it has any relevance anymore I in think, Ireland? I think it will. I think after this election, it definitely will, considering what's happened to Ireland in the past five years. It's become such a different country. One question we want to ask you is about the presidential election tomorrow. Will you be voting? I will not be voting because I'm registered in Sligo. But if you were voting, who would you vote for? I don't know. No thoughts at all on who you'd vote for? Many thoughts, but they could change every week. Well, what's your current thought this week? Well, Sean Gallagher will win it probably by about 15-20%, so 
I'd probably vote for him. 